let's talk about protections in Google Ad Manager. If you go to the protections tab, you will notice that there are three types, ad content, competition, and inventory exclusion. Let's go ahead and jump right into each one of them. Ad content, you can give it a name so it's easier for you to identify. For targeting, you can specify whether to target all of your inventory within this GAM account or only specific section of the inventory. If you select the second option, go ahead and click Add Targeting. Here you can specify which section of the inventory would you like this to apply to. So let's say, for example, I just want this to apply to a specific country. So I'll select the geography and then I can expand. And let's say I want this to apply only to the audience based in the United States and the UK. You can go ahead and add more targeting parameters as needed. Then you will see block section. This is now where you can, let's say for example, block a specific brand or advertiser from displaying or serving their ads on your site. So click on add. Then you have two options here. Block the following advertisers or brands, meaning everything that you will select will be blocked from serving. If you select the second one, it will block all the advertisers and or brands with the following exceptions, meaning everything you select will be allowed. The rest that are not selected will be blocked. Here you can select if you want to also block any advertisers or brands that are not classified, meaning those that do not appear here on the list. And if you want it to also apply to traditional and programmatic guaranteed transactions. For the custom labels, if you noticed earlier, it was disabled, right? Now, in order for you to be able to activate and set something in there, you go to admin, you go to inventory, you create a new label and select add exclusion. So we have created one here as an example. And this one is airlines add exclusion. So this means it will prevent line items from being delivered to ad units when the ad manager exclusion or ad exclusion rule matches the label. Let's go back to the protections tab and let's say we'll do custom labels, click add. So now you can select whether to block the following custom labels or block everything except whatever it is that you will specify here. So let's say we select this option and you can say or select that label that we just created. And when you create the line item, for example, under labels field, that's where you can specify that label that you just created and which of course will be affected by the protection that you just set up. Depending of course on your targeting criteria in here or the targeting criteria that you have within your line item. The next type of protection is competition. In this case, let's say, for example, this is your website. You have a 970 by 250 banner in there, and you also have a 300 by 250 banner in here. And let's say you don't want certain ad categories to show simultaneously on the same page load. For example, if the ad that is serving on this ad slot is about health and fitness, I don't want anything that has to do with food in this ad slot. So you don't want them to serve together on the same page load. So how do you prevent that from happening? In Google Ad Manager again, you can specify whether you want this to apply on all your inventory or only a specific section of your inventory. You can specify certain ad units, placements. It really depends on what you need. Now you can enable multi-group block so that you can specify that if the ad showing is about, let's say health, then I want to block food and groceries. So meaning if one of them is showing, then you have to block any ad that falls under this category. If you want more granular or more specific targeting in here, then you can further break it down like so, right? For example, I have Hospitals and clinics, if it's showing, then I want to block vitamins and supplements. So again, if any ad that falls under this category is serving, then any ad that is under the category of vitamins and supplements will be blocked from serving. The third type of protection here is inventory exclusion. Everything that you target here or specify 
will be excluded from the open auction. Now, open auction is the standard auction in Google Ad Manager, and it's different from private auction because in open auction, all eligible advertisers can bid or participate in the auction, have the chance to bid on your inventory and serve their ads. In private auction, only select advertisers can bid, depending on who got the invite or whom you specified when you created or set up the private auction deal. Use this protection with extreme caution because everything that you specify here, again, will be excluded from the open auction, meaning those are the sections of your inventory that advertisers in the open auction will not be able to target or bid on. So you can only use this in special cases where, and for example, there is a direct advertiser that you are targeting to this section of your inventory and you don't want any other advertisers to participate or buy or serve on that section or spot, then go ahead and feel free to target that ad unit or section of the inventory in here. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tip. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.